there. Now, this question we got sent in from quite a few people, Hector. So um, it's a fun one that fans always talk about. I think it's always connected to you. Um, it comes from this one particular person that we chose uh, to mention, Luga. He wants to know, could you share with us the iconic historic battle that you and Josh Barnett had at a gym here in Australia? Because it seems like everything, uh, all, all fans want to know is what happened in that gym. Could you share I with actually, us what happened? I actually been calling Josh Barnett out so we can have, have a fire in the middle of Morris. Mm. That was a follow-up question, actually. So, yeah, yeah go share, on. share with us the story of what happened, and then let's let's have a discussion about this Meta Morris fight after that. Well, what, what happened was pretty simple. I've been telling him, I told him, um, it's funny that I called him up after the fight, after the, one of my brothers to fight in front of everybody. And then he went backstage, and he's like, uh, when you call me up, I'll call you, I'll call you outside, and I'll call you now. Um... What happened was um, I came I came to uh, train with um, Eric Paulson and a um, bunch of guys down there, and um, he wanted me he wanted me to suck suck to him a bit, which is something that I don't do. He he like wanted to you to do what? Sorry, Hector, what did he want? Yeah, uh, he want he wanted me to be a sucker, like you know, you know, like you know, come to me, you know, always kind of like. Uh, oh, suck up. Okay, uh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah be submissive to him and all that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, at the end of the day, he's a man and I'm a man. And, uh, you know, he breathes and I breathe. And, you know, this, for me, I don't believe that anyone is better than anyone. For me, we all the same. Whether whether you have more success in one thing or another, at the end of the day, you know, we, you know, we are people. So um, that was something that I didn't do. So from that from that day from that day on, um, he didn't didn't kind of like didn't like the didn't like the you know um, my approaching to him because I wasn't submissive enough, um, and I just kind of like treating him uh, normal, and we started sparring, and you know time started going by, uh, 50 minutes, 55 minutes. We sparred for about almost an hour, mm. and um, I was I was. I was beating, I was beating him up, and he was bleeding all over the map. And um, he saw me, he saw me that I didn't quit, and I was start to hit him hard, and he just kind of like left. He left the gym, and um, it's funny because uh, every person was cleaning, he was cleaning the whole gym, blood everywhere, uh, broken nose, whatever. And after that, um, he 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 started hating me even more. Um, one day I remember that I was training with, um, he was training and there was a bunch of guys. It was, um, uh, Jake, King, um, Babalu. Uh, it was, it was, uh, it was so many of those guys and, and you know, all of them, his friends, obviously. And I started doing, uh, I started sparring all of them. And, you know, after I was doing about, six changes, he jumped in, I was tired, he took me down without me knowing that I was, you know, a, you know, a takedown, <laughs> and he was pounding, pounding the hell out of me, I was at one point, I, 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 you know, from my mind, from my mind went through like, wow, I'm dead here, because uh, he was pounding the hell out of me so bad, so reason I don't know, you know, what happened, it was a miracle from God or whatever, I escaped from there, I jumped on top, and I start pounding him up, and uh, he's like, "Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it," and he left again. Oh wow! So, I mean, that and, you know, confrontation by confrontation, you know. Um, so it, it was kind of like he couldn't bully me, and that was his biggest issue. And, yeah. And then after that. Um, I couldn't even get, you know, get to train because he would call the guys at different time. Um, so I would be at the gym, at the gym by myself. And just, I just, I decided to leave, man. I mean, like it was, it was pretty hard for me. Um, you know, obviously, you know, he, uh, he was the big dog in the gym and, uh, he would call the guys, you know, whatever time Susie, um, Jamie, uh, Babalu and the rest of them. So they wouldn't show out the time. Sometimes it was train different times, so I couldn't get my training. So I just decided to leave. I came down. I came down to ADT, and uh, 
the rest the rest is history. Mm. Yeah. But that yeah. was actually what, what happened there. And yeah. And he knows it. Uh, he can go and say whatever he wants. Um, actually, you know, I mean, I'm going to be fair. He's been making good comments about me lately. Um, I kind of like I tried to squash the, the beef between between us. Um, but um, I should tell you what just happened. But, you know, I got no, I had nothing against him anymore. Um, kind of like a letter flow. But I do, you know, if if the opportunity comes and we can we can compete in a, um, a grappling comb um, with uh, Meta Morris or any grappling comb, I would be more than happy to uh, to compete against uh, Josh. That's for sure. Yeah, well, that's that's the big one. I mean, it's a fight that um, it's a matchup in Meta Morris. The fans would love to see. I mean, it would garner so much interest. Just wondering, you know, Josh is obviously the big dog over there at Meta Morris at the moment. If you guys did get an opportunity to compete against each other in Meta Morris in the upcoming Meta Morris, how would you see yourself uh, matching up with him? Do you believe you'd beat him in the grappling matchup? Well, you know, there is a reason why I'm calling. I'm calling him right. I mean, no due respect, but I see myself winning. Um, I don't see, I don't see him beating me, and um, you know, I, I hope that uh, one day, you know, Metamorphosis can make that fight happen. 